uh, different kinds of support spindles. Now, some of you out there may be familiar with this. This is a just an average drop spindle, but when I spin it, the weight of the yarn has to be strong enough that it supports it in the air. But if you're spinning really fine fibers and threads, that thread's not gonna be strong enough to support that in, in the air. So what they've developed are these support spindles, meaning that a surface supports the weight of that spindle. Therefore, there's no weight going on when I spin. So I can spin, 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 and draft everything, and then it's not gonna snap and break because it has to support the weight. No, so um, the ground is supporting the weight, and I just, so you can see that. Uh, for the Tockley, this is a Tockley, bring it up close. It has a weighted end here. This happens to be brass disc, so it has a weight to it. That helps momentum and keep it spinning. It has a nice sharp pointy tip, which is why when I travel, I do that for safety, because I'll poke holes through things. Uh, this has this little thing there, and that's just so I can thread that uh, the leader through it and to hold it up there. You don't need it, but these particular ones have it. So I flick it and then I instantly make a little donut hole so it, so it doesn't go all the way around, right? So I'm saying, you're gonna stay in here. Twist, you're gonna stay in here. So this takes practice, this takes coordination to learn how to do this. So when you, if you get one of these, you're gonna be spending a lot of time just flick and catch, flick and catch. And it's gonna be awkward, but you'll get it, you'll get it. Now going to the other extreme, let's talk about this. This is a much heavier, this is a Tibetan spindle, much longer. This one is so long because it's actually a plying one, but I want you to see the tip here is wood. So that's gonna make it not, um, not ha have a lot more friction. So it's, that's, it's not gonna spin as fast, but this part is weighted. It's gonna help try to keep the uh, momentum going on that twist. Same thing, I just stand it in, I do my flick twist, and then my other hand is doing the drafting. So Tibetan one, this is a very similar one. It's a little bit shorter. And this has a protective tip on it, that's all that is. And then we have some Russian type, very lightweight, very lightweight. You can see that, they have these different, these tips are, are, are very different, you can get different styles. But again, you just flick and it spins. This is another style. This has some um, actual mohair on it, is what they used. It's a goat hair that they make. They used to make the lace yarns to do the ultra, ultra fine Orenburg laces. If anyone's familiar with Orenburg lace, so that's this. And I put this on so the weight is just kind of right here and distribute it here. So I was told to do that, but here's a different style. You could see, is it, this one is a really tight tip there, a really sharp pointy tip, but you know, if they're spinning, that's gonna wear down a bit. So I am going to show you, this is a wool end short Angora. Angora is a rabbit. This support spindle is just perfect for it because it will allow me to spin, but not over spin. If I, if I can get my hands out of the way, I flick and I draft and I flick and I draft, flick, draft. This gets to be kind of simultaneous and make sure I get enough twist. Now when I roll it on, I'm gonna roll it on horizontal and leave enough for a leader to barber pull up and then just do that. So it's, you think that this would be really, really slow, but it isn't necessarily that slow at all. You can get into a rhythm and, and, and do that. So I would use this type for uh, my shorter exotics, the bisons you can do, the kiviats you can do on here, where you, you need a support spindle, but you don't need it to be as fast 
as the talk lead because then your yarn will over hyper twist over twist uh, let's talk about cotton so this is a puni this is cotton so I just want to show you how short cotton is so if I pull this out I'm sorry I'm not um, that's the length so from here to here is the length this is the length that's in your dryer the only thing holding it together is twist let me see if I can get this going this is commercial roving this is a natural green color which I like so give me a second and see if I can do this and let you see it at the same time it's the exact same thing I flick and I draft flick draft flick draft flick draft and then it will pinch off and then I will put in that extra twist and the thread goes inward into that that's how I know it has sufficient twists make my leader and I go on again very nice so what I like about these is that look they're look how small they are they're very compact you can put this definitely in in a bag with the fiber and you can take this anywhere to spin you don't need a heavy spinning wheel to take with you anywhere this too pretty lightweight you can definitely travel with this if you have some sort of um, dish that would help some ceramic is really good because that gives a nice long spin so these are inexpensive spinning tools this is the historic way of spinning remember the the treadle wheel that you remember seeing is like a 15th 16th century invention we have the bobbins on it that that's like the ipad of the day it was so far out there Ooh, i got two hands free my feet can do one thing and my hands could do a separate thing but on this you can see one hand does the flick the other one does the drafting and then the winding on so that does take more time than a typical uh, bobbin on a wheel one more thing I want to show you is that for spinning cotton not really going to talk about these in this one that this is a mid shaft this is really the whole thing is so so light see it has little holes in there so it can keep its but this is a it the thread needs to be thick enough so it can support this but so you need to think what am i need to spin how thin do i need to spin it what's the fiber i need to spin and then what is the tool tool in my arsenal that can do that particular project that's how i think of things so i hope today has been helpful for you to have an introduction to what support spindles are what they're good for they're like i said it's they're great for the short fibers. They're great if you're traveling. You can spin anywhere. People take these on the airplanes. They can spin on the airplanes. You might uh, elbow your seatmate in, but but you can you can still travel with them. I I take this a lot of places where I have some wait time, and well, it sure takes down the wait time. And they got a lot of yardage spun. If you're interested in learning more, I will make some more videos. But I'm I can also teach this via Zoom or in person. I can teach any of these things um, to spin cotton or these other fine fibers. I hope you've enjoyed this today and I hope I will catch you next time. Oh, oh, before I go, before I go, oh, if you have any comments like you want me to explain something, you want me to do a separate video on something, just pop a comment in the bottom and thanks to all the new subscribers to the channel i really really appreciate that that just is so heartening that there are people who will actually subscribe and and want to watch these videos okay so with that i again i will say i will catch you next time on spinning the past